We're just going to have a quick look at rescuing someone from ascent and then getting them out of ascent so they counterbalance. Uh, so there's lots of ways of doing this, but we're just going to look at a few of them. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I need to be in descent level with my casualty. So I've come up to him, I've put that past. And I want my descender level with his chest point pretty much. So that'll do me, lock it off. Okay, and then what I need to do is sort the backups out, all right? So I'm gonna put in a soft link to my casualty. So that I am now his backup. So we can remove his backup if we like. But, so I'm gonna take it off him. I'm gonna attach it to me because I want to get mine above him and then I'm going to put mine back on above the casualty there, right? And I'm going to remove his and sender out of the way and I'm going to take my original backup off so it's gone. Right, so I'm past. Least number of moves, I think, to do that. And then I'm going to link to him. Three carabiners. I'm using three carabiners. Gives us a good working distance. You can use you can use a quick draw in here if you like, but I just use three carabiners because I know I've always got three carabiners. Well, hopefully. And then that's going to go into his chest, and then I want this nice and tight, so I'm just going to go up until it's tight, and then lock it off. And then get rid of my hand ascender. Right, so that was the easy bit. Lifting him out of ascent, there's, there's, there's loads of different ways of doing it. I'm going to look at what I think is the quickest way of doing it. So I'm going to get a basic, clip it on above him, then get a sling, a two and a half ton sling, clip it into his chest, run it up through the basic, put that there, stick my foot in, and then just stand up and then just lift him from his waist or whatever you can get hold of. And then just unclip the crawl, take that out. And then this, the, if you're doing it this way, I've got to pinch the sling, kick my foot out and lower him down, all right? Because the stretch in the ropes makes a massive difference, all right? And then friction beaner in and we're good to go. That's the quickest way, I think. But let's have a look at some other ones. Okay, method number two. I see this a lot when I'm out assessing. Okay, basic on. Bit of string. The problem with this is, it takes a lot longer. So I've got to tie it into my casualty. Clove it in there. I'm going to take it up through the basic or his and and then we go back through there and we go back through here All right then I have to get my hand ascender out and I have to clip this in and I've got to mess around getting my foot at the right height I've got to pull him up. Then I get him off. Then I've got to get this off. I've got to lower him down. It is easy, but it does take quite a while. All right. That's all right. If you're going to do that, you just got to make sure this string is in good condition. I have seen these snap before. When you've got two people's weight coming down, uh, it makes a mess. It makes a loud bang, which is not what we want. All right, and then we're going to go down. Next method, if you've got one on site, is just a grill on with a basic that I've made up. So clip the basic above him again, put the grill on into his chest. All right, and then I just need my hand ascender on the back side of the grill on, like so. 
stick my foot in. Just make sure this is all nice and tight before you stand up. Lift him up. Let's see. Lift him up. And then the good thing about this system is when I sit down, I can just sit down. Take my hand ascender off. And I can sort everything out then because he's hung up on the grill on. I'm not fighting with a sling or the bit of string. I can just sit down and relax. And then once I'm happy, everything's right. Just lower him off nice and steady. And then, you know, if he was actually hurt, I'd just leave that and go down. Uh, so if you didn't have any additional kit, uh, this works. It all depends on what's going on here. If you've got a seat in, you've got descenders, it's, it's a bit more complicated. But you can just take a bite of rope down through his D-ring, up through the carabiner on your casualties hand ascender. Right, and then if I get my hand ascender, and I just clip it into here. Then I can use his own rope as a counterbalance, and it should keep the crawl nice and straight. No, it's not high enough. And it should keep the crawl nice and straight as we lift him up, just to take it off. And then, again, you've got to pinch the sling. Get your hand ascender out. But you, you know, there's a lot of friction there when you lower him down. Uh, sort everything out. Take it, you've got to be careful with that, with the rope stretch in that, in that rope. But. And then as usual, if we're going down, just friction being her in, sort everything out. And down we go.